Voyagers are sending back terrifying data to Earth. Voyager 1, NASA's farthest traveled spacecraft, is still journeying across uncovered regions of the cosmos nearly 50 years after its launch. Scientists are baffled by the scary data that this famous space probe machine is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a malfunction. Join us as we talk about the odd data that the Voyager has been transmitting back to Earth during its space exploration journey. Scientists have been interested in learning more about the realms beyond since the Big Bang, and that interest inspired the launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions, among other space missions. Voyager 2 was actually the first spacecraft to launch, departing from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th of that same year, Voyager 1 was launched two weeks later. However, how did they switch places as twins? The weight of both probes is 720 kilos, approximately the same as a small car. Both of them were launched during a window of unique outer planet alignments that causes a slingshot effect to launch the spacecraft from one planet to another. They have, however, had to move at various speeds and on various trajectories. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 was able to pass its identical twin because of this, and since then, it has been our go-to resource for learning about various facts and space-related riddles. The first spacecraft to do so was this one when it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978. It was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a massive amount of photographs back to us. Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 100-hour stint beginning in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to produce a time-lapse movie showing 10 of the planet's spins. It had passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979, and a month later, it had found the little ring surrounding Jupiter. Voyager 1 also made a unique discovery when it found two new moons named the and Medes. Correct maneuvers were made to ensure that the spacecraft was ready for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also found four other moons during its orbit of Saturn, including Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Donon. Scientists opted to halt the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and send both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, the new mission, officially known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission, got underway. Some of the most famous photographs in history, depicting the Sun and the majority of the planets, were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, while it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. There were 60 total shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the spacecraft to 670, despite the fact that Mercury and Mars cannot be seen in the photos for various reasons. In the end, the spacecraft cameras were shut off to conserve power and memory before its trip to interstellar space. In addition to the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizon spacecraft. Prior to Voyager 1 passing by the Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, the Pioneer 10 was the furthest spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its journey for a further 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012, with no other space probes in sight to catch up with. But NASA didn't publicly announce the accomplishment until 2013. Let's go to November of 2018. Both space probes have officially left the solar system when Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 is thought to be 145 billion miles from Earth. It has continued to provide us with important information that no other space probe missions have been able to divulge since it entered the undiscovered territory beyond our solar system. The spaceship has spent the majority of its 45-year trip in space in good health. However, in recent times, experts have found some odd anomalies in its performance. Voyager 1 is currently transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth, giving the impression that it is unsure of its location coordinates. There is a scary twist to the issue, though. Normally, scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alarm in the event that it becomes lost in space, but up until this point, it has not. Additionally, its antenna, which transmits data back to Earth, appears to be in great working order. However, 
The data it has recently been transmitting is suspicious. The Interstellar Explorer is functioning normally, taking instructions from Earth and carrying them out as well as collecting and transmitting scientific data. However, readouts from the probe's articulation and control system do not accurately reflect what is taking place within, according to a NASA official statement. What exactly is happening on board, then? Every spacecraft that is headed towards interstellar space, including Voyager 1 and 2, has a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disc that is loaded with audio and video messages as a backup in case an alien species discovers the ship. 35 Earth noises, 115 live photos, 90 minutes of Western music, and greetings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim are just a few of the contents on the Space DVD. Additionally, they are recorded in 55 different languages. So, if it was taken over by aliens, they would presumably be attempting to decode the signals. Thoughts that the spaceship is currently under the direction of aliens have been quickly refuted by scientists. Voyager's ability to function depends heavily on the arc, attitude, and articulation control system. For starters, it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can correctly receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spaceship is oriented. Engineers keeping an eye on the situation now feel that the arc is functioning as it should, which just adds to the enigma we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, a mystery like this is par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both about 45 years old, which is much older than what was envisaged in the mission plan. Dodd also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe. The challenges are formidable, largely due to the spacecraft being approximately 145 billion miles away from Earth. This immense distance introduces several complications that the team must navigate carefully. A rescue operation is nearly impossible given the current technological and logistical constraints. Voyager 1 is far beyond the reach of any spacecraft or repair mission that we could feasibly send. The spacecraft's incredible journey has taken it into the outermost regions of our solar system and beyond into interstellar space, where it continues to travel further away from us each day. Messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location. This means that any command or instruction sent by the engineering team requires a significant amount of time to be received by the spacecraft. This delay poses a substantial challenge for real-time problem-solving and troubleshooting. Furthermore, once Voyager 1 processes the command, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This implies that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it exceptionally difficult to implement quick fixes or iterative troubleshooting processes, which are often necessary when dealing with complex technical issues. The engineering team must meticulously plan and execute each command, anticipating various scenarios and potential outcomes. Unlike missions closer to Earth, where engineers can swiftly send and receive commands, the long communication delay necessitates a more strategic and patient approach. Each instruction must be carefully crafted to address the known issues without causing additional problems, considering the lengthy time it will take to confirm whether the command had the desired effect. The significant communication delay also means that the engineering team has limited opportunities to interact with the spacecraft. Every command sent must be effective and precise, leaving little room for error. This necessitates extensive testing and validation of commands on Earth before they are transmitted to Voyager 1. In addition to these logistical challenges, the spacecraft itself is over four decades old, having been launched in 1977. The technology on board, although state-of-the-art at the time, is now considered ancient by modern standards. The engineering team must work with equipment and systems that were designed and built in the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the problem-solving process. The harsh environment of space also takes a toll on the spacecraft systems. Voyager 1 has been exposed to cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for over 45 years. These factors contribute to the wear and degradation of its components, making it even more challenging to maintain and repair. Despite these hurdles, the engineering team remains dedicated to resolving the current issues. 
They are exploring various hypotheses about what might be causing the anomalies and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth. This careful, methodical approach is essential given the stakes involved. Any incorrect command could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also leveraging the redundancy built into Voyager 1 systems. Like many space missions, Voyager 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures. The engineering team may be able to switch to these backup systems to restore normal operations if they determine that a specific component is malfunctioning. In summary, while the challenges of diagnosing and fixing the issues with Voyager 1 are immense, the engineering team is utilizing their expertise, experience, and the spacecraft's inherent resilience to address the problems. Their meticulous and patient approach is crucial in managing the significant communication delays and the complexities of working with a spacecraft that is both incredibly distant and significantly aged. Despite the odds, their efforts aim to continue Voyager 1's legacy of exploration and scientific discovery far beyond its original mission parameters. The malfunctions might be the result of cosmic rays altering some of the spacecraft's delicate electrical systems. These high-energy particles, originating from distant supernovae or other cosmic events, travel through space at nearly the speed of light. When they interact with electronic components, they can cause transient disruptions or even permanent damage to the hardware. The probability of such interactions increases with the spacecraft's age and the vast distances it has traveled. Over time, the cumulative effects of these interactions can lead to the kind of anomalies currently observed in Voyager 1's data. Given the probe's advanced age, the likelihood of cosmic ray-induced malfunctions is a plausible explanation. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has been exposed to the harsh environment of space for over four decades. During this time, its systems have endured not only the relentless bombardment of cosmic rays, but also the vacuum of space, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroid impacts. The combination of these factors inevitably contributes to the degradation of its electronic and mechanical components. The spacecraft was designed with the best technology available at the time, but it was not originally intended to operate for such an extended period in such a hostile environment. The fact that it continues to function at all is a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its designers and engineers. Additionally, cosmic rays can cause single-event upsets, SEUs, in digital electronics. An SEU occurs when a high-energy particle strikes a sensitive part of a microchip, causing a bit flip in the chip's memory or logic circuits. This can lead to unexpected behavior in the spacecraft systems, such as incorrect data readings or erroneous commands being executed. While some SEUs are transient and can be corrected through software, others may result in permanent damage or require more complex interventions to mitigate. Engineers have anticipated such risks and have designed Voyager 1 with redundant systems and error correction protocols to handle these events. However, as the spacecraft ages and its components become more susceptible to radiation damage, the effectiveness of these safeguards may diminish. Despite these challenges, the engineering team continues to innovate and adapt their strategies to ensure the longevity and functionality of Voyager 1. They are likely exploring a range of possible solutions, from software patches to reconfiguring hardware components to address the current anomalies. In summary, the anomalies in Voyager 1's data could be the result of cosmic rays interfering with its electronic systems. While this presents significant challenges, the engineering team is leveraging their expertise and the spacecraft's built-in resilience to diagnose and mitigate the issues. Their efforts underscore the remarkable durability and adaptability of Voyager 1, a spacecraft that has far exceeded its original mission objectives and continues to provide valuable scientific insights from the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Voyager's issues might be related to its age and the wear and tear of its components after so many years in space. Like all mechanical and electronic devices, the systems on Voyager 1 are subject to degradation over time. Components can wear out, materials can fatigue, and the harsh environment of space can exacerbate these effects. The spacecraft systems were designed to last for the duration of its original mission, which was only a few years. However, the fact that it has continued to operate for more than four decades is a testament to its robust design and the skill of the engineers who built it. Over time, thermal cycling, 
which involves repeated heating and cooling as the spacecraft moves through different parts of space, can cause materials to expand and contract. This can lead to the formation of cracks or the loosening of connections, affecting the performance of the spacecraft systems. Additionally, the vacuum of space can cause outgassing, where materials release trapped gases, potentially leading to changes in their physical properties or the contamination of sensitive components. Voyager 1 has been exposed to these harsh conditions for an extended period, and the cumulative effects of these factors are likely contributing to the anomalies observed. The spacecraft's power supply is another area of concern. Voyager 1 is powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat generated by the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. Over time, the efficiency of these generators decreases, resulting in a gradual reduction in the power available to the spacecraft. This power decline can affect the performance of the spacecraft's systems and instruments, particularly those that require significant amounts of energy. The engineering team must carefully manage the power budget to ensure that the most critical systems remain operational while dealing with the limitations imposed by the aging RTGs. Moreover, the onboard computers and memory systems, which store and process the data collected by the spacecraft's instruments, are based on technology from the 1970s. These systems have far less processing power and memory capacity compared to modern technology. As they age, they become more prone to errors and failures. The team continuously monitors these systems and develops strategies to work around any issues that arise. The software running on Voyager 1, while remarkably advanced for its time, is also outdated by today's standards. The engineering team has implemented numerous updates and patches over the years to address various issues and improve the spacecraft's performance. However, as the hardware continues to age, the software may encounter limitations that are difficult to overcome. The team's ability to diagnose and fix problems is constrained by the spacecraft's distance from Earth and the limited communication bandwidth. They must rely on their deep understanding of Voyager 1 systems and their experience in managing spacecraft to navigate these challenges. In conclusion, the anomalies in Voyager 1's data are likely a result of the spacecraft's advanced age and the wear and tear of its components after decades in space. The engineering team faces significant challenges in diagnosing and addressing these issues but remains committed to extending the mission's longevity. Their efforts highlight the incredible durability and resilience of Voyager 1 a spacecraft that continues to push the boundaries of exploration and expand our understanding of the universe.